All right, I have all the books I need to learn about London. So I just wanted to share with you how I go about learning about city because I think when you go to a city, you have to learn about it somehow. And one of my best resources is books. And the cool thing about a city like London, and many cities are the same, you can go to very unique bookstores and find books that are not always the, the ones most obvious to get. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what books I end up getting and where I got them. So when it comes to researching for urbanists and trying to learn about a new city, I do a mixture of different sources. I either use podcasts, watch documentaries, watch movies if they kind of give you a sense of the city in a cool, unique way, and also read lots of books. Uh, and I think that's my favorite part, is actually holding something that I can read for myself. In London, there's an amazing bookstore that is specifically targeted for travelers. It's called Daunt Books and it's in the neighborhood of Marlebone. It is by far one of the most beautiful bookstores I've ever seen. It's inside a Victorian era building uh, with a beautiful skylight that allows natural light to come in through on a sunny day. It's three stories tall with books from all around the world and they have a huge collection on London books. So I want to share with you a few of the books I end up getting in order to learn about London in a unique way because I think the content I make here on Urbanist is, in my opinion, something unique, something you can't really find on the History Channel or TV or regular YouTube travel vlogs. I think we're doing something here that is different. So the books have to be equally different. My first recommendation is 33 Walks in London by Nicola Perry. And this book has a great collection of different walks you can take. The walks that she lists are not your typical walks. Usually people go to London and see all the main sites like Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, Trafalgar Square, but they rarely go into the side streets and go to these little places that might not be in the guidebooks. And that's why I always point out in my live streams, for example. So that's the first book I got. In order to learn about London, you have to get a feeling about the city. I think the book that does the best job in giving you an overall look, feeling of this marvelous, multiple thousands of years old city is London, a biography by Peter Ackroyd. And this book is a tome. This is heavy, but it's worth it. He writes as if London was a person on its own. So this book kind of makes you feel London while learning deeply about its history. The next book is Secret London, An Unusual Guide. This is by Rachel Howard and Bill Nash. And this book just lists all the different little nooks and crannies you can find in London, such as a very, very old cast iron gas lamp. That's cool. And I think books like these, like Secret London, are great because when you're walking around the city, sometimes the most special things are the tiniest things. The things that most people don't realize, don't see, the things that even locals pass by on a daily basis and don't notice. That's why books like these make learning about a city very special. Sometimes I just want a book that makes the learning process so much easier. I just want lists. And I think lists are a great way to just learn what's the best five pubs in London? What are the best five cheap eats in London? What are the best five small museums in London? And the best book for that is The 500 Hidden Secrets of London by Tom Gregg. And this book, it's very simple to read. They just go into the top five lists of different things that you can check out in the city, such as the top five cultural markets to go to, the top five British design shops to visit. I like it because I can just quickly see, I want to go to a pub. I'm not sure which one to go to. Let me check out this book. And it's great resource. Those are the books I end up buying mostly at Daunt Books here in London, which is a bookstore 
I highly recommend you checking it out. I think it's a really magical place. And one thing I really am loving about London so far is the bookstores. There's a lot of them, and a lot of them are very historic. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ariel with Urbanist. Keep being awesome, and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone.